In northwest Thailand, close to the Burmese border, lies a refugee camp. It harbors an unusual tribe. Stretched necks and shackled limbs define these women as Padang. For centuries, the Padang women have carried the tribe's mark, the collar known as Wang. Each of them began the painful process as a girl when her bones were small and flexible. Even on the young, however, the coils chafe. To achieve the stretch neck look of her elders, she'll have to return every few years to have more coils added. The collar continues to hurt, but for Padang girls, pain is a requirement of belonging. The long neck look is actually an illusion. When you wear the rings, it is not your neck that gets longer. It is your shoulders that gets pushed down and lowered. As the coil grows, its pressure pushes down on the shoulders and chest. The rib cage caves like a squeezed balloon and the neck appears to rise higher from the collapsed collarbones. The intentional deformation might seem masochistic to outsiders, but to the Padang, the Wang is the signature mark of a tribeswoman. But the extreme practice that identified them as Padang also marked them for persecution in their homeland of Burma, now called Myanmar. In 1962, the military seized control of the country, promising modernization. The new leaders cracked down on tribes deemed primitive, and tribal customs, including the Huang, were outlawed. To maintain their identity and escape civil war, Manang and others fled to the neighboring country of Thailand. Although safe from war, the tribe is now caught between two countries and two worlds. Housed in refugee camps, the Padang have drawn crowds of Western tourists who travel to witness their ancient ways. Unexpectedly, what was once a persecuted mark of identity is now a profitable way to make a living. Today, Mabang will have the opportunity to find out how she'll look without her brass collar. After 10 years, it's time for the rings to be refitted. It will take close to an hour of pulling at the brass before the rings can be lifted from her shoulders. Mabang is astonished at how light she feels. She only speaks the Burmese dialect so Maja helps her express her feelings. <laughs> well, we never get to see what the neck looks like, so we want to have a look and see how it turned out. For outsiders, it's incredible to imagine never seeing one's own neck. For Mabang, it's a transformative experience. She wants to dress up in regular clothes and let her hair down and see if she will look pretty. <laughs> as excited as she was to try on a new identity, Mabang eagerly returns to her old one, even though it may be years, even decades, before she sees her neck again. She says this is our tradition, so it does not feel strange. For Mabang, the embrace of a coiled metal offers a passage back to who she is, not a restriction on who she might be. As refugees, the Padang have endured much to preserve their culture and their customs. Today, these rings of brass represent one tribe's commitment to a future that does not sacrifice its past.